so now we are going to compare the stability of complexes and i will repeat again that chemistry is not about just knowing the factor that anyone can know chemistry is about knowing which factor has to be applied when and at what priority so understand you have to follow the exact same sequence for the stability checkpoint first thing you should always check is the central atom more charge more stable 5d more than 4d more than 3d is also a logic we can use but is not much used already i've discussed but it's not of much use uh, in your needs syllabus but more charge more stable one thing second here also some exception comes with cn minus and co that we don't have to go into in depth of it because again it's not important for neat examination there the synergic bond also comes into play but again just ignore keep it simple crack the neat exam become a doctor and just understand this theory up to there only number two delta sp more than delta o more than delta t again same third thing you should check here is chelation understand chelation does not decide delta but it decides the stability what is the meaning of chelation chelation means ring formation so when you have a polydentate ligand didentate tridentate so we understand very well when we have didentate tridentate ligand ring will be formed and rings give stability to the complex and obviously why not here if i am holding something with one hand versus if i if i am holding something with two hands obviously with two hands more stability will come i will hold it much better so didentate tridentate ligands give extra stability but the priority of that force of that energy is number 3 and sfl wfl that means stronger ligand more stable weaker ligand less stable complex is checked after chelation one example i can give so here i will check firstly the central atom charge on central atom plus 3 will come oxidation state here here also plus 3 here also plus 3 so charge is same tick delta o delta sp coordination number 6 again here also 6 here also 6 it is not three coordination number here density 2 3 ligands 3 into 2 6 is the coordination number so all are octahedral this also tick clash now check chelation so here we understand it's a didentate ligand so it can show chelation and due to chelation bhaiya he will become rank 1 khatam no need to check further these are monodentate ligands so chelation rank 1 is this now i'm comparing second and third what to do both of them have no chelation so check sfl wfl so nh3 is a stronger ligand than water so that's why this is the stability order we get very important question direct question next this will remind you a little bit about uh, equilibrium chapter you might feel a little nostalgic about it so let's see what happens metal plus ligand ml equilibrium constant k1 ml plus l ml2 ml2 plus l this way we got four equilibrium constant and these are called step wise stability constant also in this chapter this equilibrium constants are called step wise stability constant so if we add all of them the stability constant we finally get is called overall stability constant and just like chemical equilibrium you know when you add the equations to get some equation in that case the equilibrium constants are multiplied so beta 4 is the symbol given this 4 represents how many ligands are added here and beta is the symbol for stability constant overall stability constant it will be equal to k1 into k2 into k2 k3 into k4 sometimes they can ask in the form of log also directly so log beta will be log k1 plus log k2 plus log k3 plus log k4 simple log property log of a into b is log a plus log b that also we can use here so overall dissociation constant will be opposite of the uh, formation or stability constant so co dissociation constant will be 1 by association constant or stability constant there is a question in the ncert question um, question in text 9.11 that you can check there they are giving the dissociation constant overall dissociation constant and they are asking the overall stability constant all you have to do is do the reciprocal of that and you will get the answer very very easily this small part is enough for giving you complete full marks in the stability questions of the complex compound in the neat examination all the very best with that thank you